Well, we're gonna make these fun pumpkin cookies. They are so good. Guys, just stop the video and go make this recipe. I actually finished the video and then make it. Happy Saturday. Here's what Saturday looks like. Saturday morning snuggles. Okay, wait for it, wait for it. Um, that's <laughs> the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh man, it's really hard to get up and do things <laughs> when I have a cat well, in a circle in my shirt. Okay, listen. Okay. It is good to rest. Mm -hmm. We feel like rest is wrong because it's the opposite of productive. Yeah, we have such a hustle culture. But rest is good, so... And it has been a busy week, so the cat knows I need to sit on the couch. Our skin cat forces us to embrace the rest that we need. Okay. Hey. This morning we woke up and we turned on the Christmas lights. And we came out of the bedroom and the garland was there and we came down here we turned on these lights and it is so magical and it's also sunny outside which is a nice little gift yeah later i'm gonna make what we have dubbed the world's best cookies but yes. but it's not it's it's there are different Categories of cookies. I, I would call them more like cake cookies. Yeah, they're like cakey and soft, and then they have the frosting on it. So I'm gonna make those a little bit later. And I thought, if you want to, you can come bake with us, and we'll make those cookies. But first, I gotta do my best. It is officially time to start the cookies. I just put the dishes, took them out of the dishwasher, put the new ones in, and while I thought I had emptied everything, I'm putting dirty dishes on the top, and then I like stop. I'm like, there's clean dishes. So I put the rest of those away, and we're moving on. I unpacked one of our Christmas boxes upstairs. I think we bought these, I'm gonna guess about four years ago at the Dollar Tree. And um, in our move last year, I have not noticed a whole lot of stuff that's been broken, but the other, I had two of these cups and one of those was broken. It's fine, it's literally doesn't matter, it was $1. And I'm really excited to use these dishes. So these plastic things just go underneath to make it look pretty. So anyway, Peter is going to help me because I was, Feeling all the big emotions of overwhelmingness. I'm fine. Uh, he's gonna help me. So we're gonna make these fun pumpkin cookies. They are so good. The way that I would describe it is, have you ever been to Walmart or Asda or wherever you are in the world? And you get those like soft sugar cookies that have the like neon green icing on the top. And these cookies, it's like, this doesn't even look real. And you taste it and then you're like, I can't stop eating it. It's like those, but not artificial. So it has pureed pumpkin and then all the normal ingredients you would put in cookies. Sugar, butter, flour, eggs, vanilla, all the things. Amazingness. And then buttercream maple frosting. Let's do this. There's a... Guys, just stop the video and go make this recipe. I actually finished the video and then make it. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Uh, I appreciate how other creators say, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out because it helps the algorithm, the YouTube algorithm to say, oh, people are enjoying this content. Let's give them more, that sort of thing. But what I was gonna tell you is, I never follow instructions or like recipes, except baking. I learned the hard way, I am not a muffin maker, 
but it turns out I'm a pumpkin cooking pumpkin cooking maker cookie. You cookie make maker. and you make it. And guys, I just have to say, she made like a pumpkin bread cake thing the other week as well. That was really good. Did you use the same frosting? I did. It was the, it was supposed to have a different frosting, but it the, was delicious. With the the, the maple buttercream frosting, I think, is the icing on the cake. <laughs> Literally. I think I have officially gotten everything out that I need. Let's do this baking! Step one. Oh! <laughs> trying to film! Ah! And then eggs, and then pumpkin. Spices! And stuff. Flour! Cookies! Really? Okay guys, I'm telling you, these cookies are my bad. I just dropped some spoons. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me pick those up. Okay, I was saying, these cookies, I think what it is, here's what it is. They're categorically different because they're more cakey than a cookie. But they're not, you know how pumpkin bread is like real oily and moist? This is kind of a drier cookie. And, but, all that being said, so it like, and it's not, it's not too sweet. Now the buttercream, maple buttercream frosting is pretty sweet. So it like complements it really well, but the cookie itself, I'm like, I'm getting, getting deep about this. This cookie, it, it kind of gives me a scone kind of vibe in that it's like a drier cookie. Anyways. The maple buttercream frosting is what makes it though. It's that maple flavor mixed with the pumpkin flavor. Oh, okay, so. Mm. It's so good. Mm. Wow. Well done, Mary. Well done. Mary, this evening, has developed quite the headache and is up in bed. She has ice on her head and she took some meds and we're hoping that it doesn't get too bad. So um, I think we're just gonna, it's kind of early, but we're gonna rest this evening and try to give her body the space to hopefully overcome this headache and hope for a no headache day tomorrow, but we'll take it. Whatever comes, we'll take it on one step at a time and we'll bring you guys along. So as always, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, honey. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Go make some pumpkin cookies. I'm telling you, they're so good. Good night, Ollie boy. We'll see you tomorrow.